right, so we have Nate Dogg, Nathan McKinnon, the greatest player of all time in NHL 23, that is. I swear to God, out of all the simulations I've done, no player has done as good as Nathan McKinnon has. He regularly puts up 60 goals and over 100 points, and the Colorado Avalanche take like every second Stanley Cup. Like, they're an absolute monster. So I thought, let's simulate his career and see how good he actually can be. Maybe he'll actually go down as the GOAT. Nathan McKinnon is a 95 overall, and he's 27 years old. He's on a line with Gabriel Landeskog and Miko Rantanen. They have a really good team. Not as good as last year, but still really good. Devon Taves and Kale McCarr on the back end, and they have a decent starting goalie in Alexander Georgiev. Nathan McKinnon would play 66 games, have 51 goals and 89 points. You just wait until he plays all 82. I swear, he's gonna put up like 61 goals and 120 points. Miko Rantanen would actually lead the entire NHL in points. McKinnon, despite only playing 66 games, would have the most goals out of any player. And of course, Colorado finishes first in the Central. Somehow, we would lose in the very first round to the Dallas Stars. Not off to a good start. Come on, Colorado, you're making me look bad. And somehow, the Buffalo Sabres went on to win the Stanley Cup. Colorado absolutely dominated the awards, as well as Kale McCarr taking home the Norris. Rasmus Dahlin would take home the Conn Smythe. Nathan McKinnon now is a 96 overall, and Miko Rantanen is a 95 overall. What a first line we got going here. McKinnon would have 44 goals and 101 point. I promise you eventually he will go insane. Shout out Davo. Colorado would bust their nut all over the league, finishing with 60 wins. We would somehow end up getting swept in the third round by Calgary. That's not even the worst of it. The Toronto Maple Leafs won the Stanley Cup. Nathan McKinnon would take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy. Marner would take home the Conn Smythe. In the playoffs, McKinnon would have 9 goals and 16 points. Nathan McKinnon is a 96 overall. Nathan McKinnon would have 41 goals and 87 points. He's still not living up to the hype, honestly. I don't know how he's so great when I don't control the team, but when I actually do a simulation of him, he can barely crack 100 points. Shout out Matthew Barzell. Colorado would yet again finish first in the Central. Somehow we blew a 3-0 lead to the Minnesota Wild, and we would end up losing in Game 7 3 to nothing. Are you serious right now? Despite the Colorado Avalanche absolutely choking, Nathan McKinnon would actually have a good playoff run. He had 9 goals and 22 points. And the Vegas Golden Knights would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Theodore would take home the Conn Smythe. Nathan McKinnon is still a 96 overall. Meanwhile, Rantanen and Landis Cog both dropped down. Somehow we picked up Bergeron and Giroux. All hail Kale is still here, thank God. Maybe if I give Nate Dogg the captaincy, he will finally perform. Let's see how he does. Okay, Nathan McKinnon took that personally because the Colorado Avalanche have turned in the 2023 Boston Bruins. But yeah, we're 42, 9, and 5. As you can see, McKinnon took that personally. He scored 71 goals and had 139 points. He obviously would have the most points out of any player and the most goals. There are only three guarantees in life, death, taxes, and Colorado finishing first in the Central. Finally, we are back in the Stanley Cup Final. Yet again, we faced the Tampa Bay Lightning. Unfortunately, we would get absolutely spanked. They got their revenge, I guess. Oh, I've never actually seen you lose a Stanley Cup Final. If you guys actually think I'm rigging this, I don't have time for that shit, to be honest. These videos take a long-ass time to make, and if you think I got time to go into each game and play them to make sure my team wins, you guys are crazy. If we had won, Nathan McKinnon would have got playoff MVP. No doubt. He had 18 goals and 36 points in 23 games. Nathan McKinnon is the greatest player of all time. Brad Marchand would take home the Conn Smythe for the Tampa Bay Lightning. McKinnon is still a 96 overall. And Rantanen has jumped back up to a 95. Bergie, man, I think it's time to retire. McKinnon would have 49 goals and 109 points. Colorado would finish first in the Central yet again. Somehow we would lose in the third round this time to Vancouver. We're basically turning into the Toronto Maple Leafs. A very good regular season team, but choke in the playoffs every single year. Speaking of Toronto, they would end up taking home the Stanley Cup. Again, Nathan McKinnon would perform in the playoffs. 14 goals and 20 points in 17 games. I don't even know who that is, but he took home the Conn Smythe. Nathan McKinnon has dropped down to a 95 overall. As you can see, Nathan McKinnon is the greatest player of all time. 51 goals and 119 points. Somehow, Pasternak scored 72 goals. Luckily, though, Nathan McKinnon would have the most points in the entire NHL. Colorado would finish second in the Central with 40 wins. We would end up getting swept in the second round to St. Louis. And somehow, the Toronto Maple Leafs win a another Stanley Cup. Nathan McKinnon would take home the Art Ross. Austin Matthews would take home the Conn Smythe. Nathan McKinnon has dropped down to a 93 overall. Nathan McKinnon would have 48 goals and 98 points. Shout out Connor McDavid. No, you can't be serious right now. Shout out Tyrone Fiddler for having the most goals in the entire league. Colorado would finish second in the Central with 48 wins. So finally, we are back in the Stanley Cup final and we're up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Will we choke or will Nathan McKinnon capture his second Stanley Cup? Finally, the Colorado Avalanche have done it. McKinnon captures his second Stanley Cup of his career. Finally, we get it done. Nathan McKinnon is your Conn Smythe winner. And here he comes, Nathan McKinnon, the Colorado Avalanche's captain, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the second time in his career.
We finally get it done, boys. Nathan McKinnon would have one of the greatest playoff runs of all time. He had 21 goals, 21 assists for 42 points in 25 games. He was an absolute monster. The dog takes home the con Smythe. Nathan McKinnon is a 90 overall. I don't know why he's dropped down so much since the start of our simulation. I mean, he's only 34 years old. Miko Rantanen is only two years younger and he's still a 95. And to be honest, McKinnon has put up better numbers over like the last five years. He for sure has had better numbers. McKinnon would have 49 goals and 108 points. He would end up second in the entire league for scoring only behind Connor McDavid. Colorado would finish third in the Central with 41 wins. I guess it's time to take out the Brooms because we got swept in the third round to the Anaheim Ducks and then they would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Nathan McKinnon would have 22 points in 16 playoff games. Dylan Gunther would take home the Conn Smythe. Nathan McKinnon is an 89 overall. Hopefully he doesn't drop too much and retire early but I do believe we can win another Stanley Cup for sure with this team. Nathan McKinnon is still very good at hockey. That was good enough for third in the entire league. Again Connor McDavid just shows up Nathan McKinnon now. Not in my other simulations, but when I actually do a simulation of Nathan, Nate Dog is number two. Colorado would finish first in the Central with 52 wins. We would end up losing in the first round to LA, and the Ottawa Senators would capture the Stanley Cup. Jacob Chickering would take home the Conn Smythe. I think that's how you say his name. Regardless, he took home the Conn Smythe. McKinnon would re-sign in the offseason for eight more years at 9.5 million. Nate Dog is getting that bag, and he has dropped down to an 88 overall. Nathan McKinnon would see a drop in points, but not too bad. 35 goals and 87 points. Connor McDavid is still dominating. Colorado would finish second in the Central with 42 wins. For some odd reason, we just cannot beat the Anaheim Ducks. They literally dog walk us every single time we play them in the playoffs. Yet again, Anaheim would win the Stanley Cup. That is two cups in three years for Anaheim. Connor McDavid is Connor McDavid. Troy Terry would take home the Conn Smythe. Well, it looks like Anaheim has sent Nathan McKinnon into retirement as he has decided to call it quits. After 19 years, he scored 739 goals, 953 three assists for 1,692 points, and that was only in 1,436 games. Very good stats for the greatest player of all time. In the playoffs, he would have 135 goals, 147 assists for 282 points in only 209 games. That is a lot of playoff points. I mean, shit, he played a lot of playoff games too. 209, motherfucker. Nathan McKinnon would rack up two Art Ross trophies, two Hart trophies, two Ted Lindsay awards, two Maurice Richard trophies, one Conn Smythe, and two Stan Stanley Cups. McKinnon would end up having a great career, but I don't know if i call him the greatest of all time. Whenever I don't simulate his career, he is the GOAT. Still a great career nonetheless. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And remember, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.